guys, how's it going? Flipping mod for TNG. And, um, yeah. Back with some more Nightmare Shermador. There we go. A little bit of water. Let's head to the ship. Uh, so last time, what did we do last time? Um, we basically, uh, tried to look for, you know, yeah, on the left once again, Band of Keith. Um, didn't quite find him yet. Um, we dueled Yugi. Well, we weren't trying to, but we we wound up we wound up yeah we wound up running into Yugi like three times in a row, the regular one, and we actually got to register him, which is good. All right, so I looked up the packs off screen, and I think the ones I want to buy. I, I, I did a safe state right before this. Uh, let's just get into it. Our Curse Darkness and Roar of Demise, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the uh, Device Tactics, I think is what we want. Uh, but yeah, I did save state off screen, so if I don't see, like, what I'm looking for, then I will save scum or something new. Uh, Command Knight, I think I do need another. <gasps> Call of the Haunted! Oh, looks like we're not saves coming today! Alright, so good. We got Call of the Haunted, and I did need this for the, uh, the t -t 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 Allied Forces deck. But yeah, Call of the Haunted. Very good card. We haven't got any kind of revival yet in this game. Well, we have, but anyway. Select the one monster from your grave. Special summoning attack position. Very good card. Very good card. Okay. Now, I'm also looking for another legendary ocean. I have two, but I am looking for another one out of this pack. So, yeah. There we go. Rabbit Horseman. Okay. And it's kind of surprising out of all the packs here, like, a legendary ocean comes in this one. It's... I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't well. I guess Kai Ryushin is in this bag. I was gonna say, doesn't really seem to fit with the theme. But if we don't get a legendary ocean, ah, that's okay though, because we did get called the haunted, so I am fine with that. I guess tornado wall is in here. Ah, uh, defusion is new. We did not have this before. Huh? Okay. Well, at least we got a couple of new cards out of that pack. Uh, yeah, and I think the other one we want is uh, well, we got 76% of this. Uh, let's just buy a couple of this one, see if we can get it to 80%. That way we can get the card list. For Visitor from Beyond, yeah, Skull Ladybug Strike Ninja, okay. We got a rare card. Okay, that's all I'll buy on that one. Yeah, because we got 80 now. Uh, yeah, so the Union Monsters are in here for that uh, XYZ deck. But I think I'm going to buy some more of this one. Yeah, Roar of Demise has some, um, some cards I'm looking for, just to make a few different decks, just to mix it up. Um, Thousand Energy, not what I'm looking for. Uh, pretty interesting combo, though. You can do with uh, Delta Attacker and Triangle Energy, though. Because <laughs> Delta Attacker, if you've got three of the monsters of the same name, it'll let you attack directly. And uh, another Wall of Revealing Light is good. And um, Triangle Power will uh, increase all the power of level one monsters to by 2,000. So something you could do is like play three Skull Serpent, use uh, the League of Uniform Nomenclature, and then, uh, yeah, Triangle Power, Delta Attacker, go ham, go ham. The OG combo. And of course, if you run like Human Wave Tactics, that's also very, very good in a deck like that. So another good Goblin Housekeeping. I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, and we'll open one more pack of Roar of Demise. And we are down to 1869 type core points. After all that grinding, hard to blow. Ooh. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're definitely saving this. We got another return of different dimension. Now, believe it or not, this card is unlimited in this game. And that is a broken AF. AF. Yeah, we got another one of those. Definitely what I was looking for. Hi, Flood. You have a lot of cards. Let me give you this lease as a present. I know you can collect them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Copyright infringement. Alright, so let me show you those lists. Just, uh, yeah. So we got, uh, Roar of Demise. And what was the other list we got? Yeah, this one. Visitor from Beyond. Alright, so. Cards we're missing out here. Dark Necroveer. Very good. Combles really well with Giant Germ. Um, Rocket Warrior. One of Joey's signature cards. 
Twin-Headed Behemoth. Another very solid card. Uh, anytime it's killed during the end phase, it comes back. It's a dragon with 1500. Pretty good. Visor Death. Interesting. Uh, keep your drop more. This card is actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Insect Burial. Very good. I, I kind of want that to make a, a few different decks, but uh, Jam Breeding Machine. Mystical Space Typhoon. Hmm. Yeah, we should buy some more of this pack. Uh, Spirit Message in. And Monster Relief. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, maybe we will buy some more of that pack. Visitor from Beyond. Yeah, Mystical Space Typhoon. That's, that's worth uh, taking a risk for. A uh, Roar Demise. What we're missing out here. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Chiron the Mage. Pretty good card. Dark Magician of Chaos. Uh, and this is the effect one that lets you get a spell back. It's not the ritual one. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Abyssal Designator. Dark Factory of Mass Production is actually the card I'm looking for out of this pack. I need like three of those for a certain deck I'm thinking of. Hammer Shot. Eh, Hammer Shot's okay, but we got Smashing Ground a few sets back. So now this is de says de Devastation Virus. This is actually the correct name. Uh, but funny, this has the same name as Crush Card Virus, but they're actually different cards in this game, which is kind of funny, but... Uh, so yeah, maybe we should buy some more, uh, which one had MST? This one, right? Let me just make sure. Mystical Space Defense. Yeah, Visitor from Beyond. Okay, okay, let's buy a few more Visitor from Beyond. I, I imagine it, Mystical Space Typhoon is probably an ultra rare, but still, I kind of want to try. A visitor from Biana. And if we don't get it, it's not that big a deal. I think we already have three Dust Tornado. Uh, but I like uh, Mystical Space Typhoon. It's just, just better. Just all around better. Alright. Nothing much there. Uh, next pack. I had no idea MST was in this pack. And we got this pack available pretty early from what I remember. Yeah, because we've had Vorch Raider for quite a while now, so, yeah, we kind of got basically Mystical Space Typhoon at the point we were, you know, in the KC Beginner Cup, I think. There's Dragmore, very good, Rocket Warrior. Ooh, and we did get Twin Head and Behemoth, which, this is a pretty good card. Yeah, you can only use it once in the duel, but yeah, we'll come back with a thousand attack and defense. Rocket Warrior, pretty good. Uh, this could go in the Allied Forces deck. I don't think I will put it in. It does have a good effect, though. Yeah. Alright. And we'll open up one more. Just one more. Yeah, see if we can get that Mystical Space Typhoon. Right. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll come back another day and try for that. Alright. Well, let's leave, guys. We did get some pretty good cards, though, so definitely glad I opened up some more of that pack. Okay, with that, it is evening, and I will head to the house real quick, save the pulls we got. Not gonna mess with any of the decks right now, but I will edit them probably off screen in a couple episodes. Alright, let's see if we can find a duel. It is now evening, so we might have some people come out like Esperoba, Mako Tsunami. Uh, maybe even Yami Yugi at this point, I'm not sure. Let's see, got an NPC right there. Who's here? Uh, oh, there we go. One Star Duelist. Uh, and there's someone here. Regular Yugi, okay. So, top or bottom, top or bottom. And I don't think there's anyone else, right? Gotta make sure just in case the three star duelist is out at this time. No, okay. Alright, well let's just go let's just go close to home here. Yes, we're over. Okay, let's do it, man. Let's do it. The cosmic energies have already declared me the winner. Alright. Let's do it. Cyber energy. That's a good name for a deck, I would say. That's a pretty solid name. But how will it deal with my Abyss Paradise? I draw. Nice hand, nice hand we got here. Alright. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, so we'll start with the uh, Foolish Burial. 
is in one of my favorite flood cards since Serpents of the Grave. And we got the combo, guys. Legendary Ocean plus uh, Legendary Fisherman. Pretty good combo. Pretty good combo. Alright, so I summon the Legendary Fisherman. Oh yeah. So yeah, Legendary Ocean makes this uh, go from a 5 star to a 4 star. And just like that, we can attack. And he can't be attacked, so... Now, I know he can still attack directly, but... Not too worried about it, guys. Not too worried about it. Alright, I end my turn. What you got, Roman? What you got? I like the evening, like, the look of the sunset, though. That looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Alright, direct attack incoming. Also, do you have... I think I have one or two tornado wall in this deck. Which... Makes it to where you don't take any damage. As long as you got the combo up. Moisture creature, that's good. Alright. Get the Sinister Serpent back. And now we will summon Revival Slate. Yeah, buddy. So basically, this deck, uh, the, uh, yeah, I improved the, uh, water deck we saw. I think we saw it in the grinding when I was grinding to register Bakura. Yeah, basically, um, took a couple of the cards out, took the fusion stuff out, put in, uh, a giant red sea snake and, a you know, legendary ocean, legendary fisherman. Yeah, and I think we got a couple more Granadora too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I put those in. And uh, put in Aquamador instead of the Humanoid Sun. So, yeah. Uh, has he played any spell cards? Not yet. Uh, well, we'll set Grave Robber anyway. And I think now we'll go with Granadora. Alright. When Granadora summoned, you get a thousand points. Oh, Mind Wipe. Interesting. Well, we're gonna lose Sinister Serpent, so that kind of sucks. Let's see what we drew, though. Let's see. Did we draw? Thank you, sir. May I have another? All right. Metal Morph is pretty good. Um, I think most of Robo's monsters don't have too high defense yet. So, Revival Jam's the way to go. And we will get over his guy named Big Eye. Ah, uh, see what I did there? I rhyme, guys. I like to do it all the time. <laughs> all right. Legendary Fisherman Spear Strike. Nice. All right. Granadora. It's funny, this card's name in the anime was actually something stupid. It was like Swallowtail Spike Lizard. And its effect, uh, I think Yami Merrick used it. Yeah, and his final duel against Yugi. And it was weird, it's, its effect didn't activate right away when it was summoned. Um, like, it gained Merrick a thousand points during the next standby phase. And what's interesting about that is like, I don't know if in the anime it gives them, uh, I don't think we can get exactly zero. Uh, let's just attack with our strongest just in case. I don't know if it's anime effect gets the controller a thousand points during every standby phase, or if it's worded like, oh, you just get a thousand during the next standby phase. So, it's kind of strange. I think the, um, and you don't always see this to be the case, but I think the card we got in real life is honestly better than the anime one because like you get the life points right away so i don't know but i guess a thousand each turn i guess technically that could be better but i don't know i don't know you win all right we're at 14 minutes we can keep it up Let's see, maximize the view. Only 83 points. Yeah, yeah, not too much there, but... Alright. I lost! This won't be good for my reputation! No, it will not. And why are you yelling about seeing the cards in my hand? You might as well be saying, hey, everyone, look at me. I'm cheating. Alright, got a one star there. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, someone here. Bakura? Okay, okay. Uh, let's just go to the sky then. So I think that's everyone out. Mako! Mako Tsunami! Ha ha ha! 
I have been waiting for an opponent to enter my home territory. You shall fall before my oceanic creatures. Ha ha ha. Big catch time. Alright, this should be an interesting one. Water deck versus water deck. Abyss Paradise versus Big Catch. It's like a mirror match. Except I don't have Fortress Well, that's not fair. I don't have it in my deck. Plus, you have Torrential Tribute, and I don't. That's also very not fair. Uh, but that is fair. Now, is he doing the same um, <laughs> play he did? Oh, okay, respect play. I was getting ready to say, is he doing the same play he did uh, a couple of duels ago? Because, like, a couple of duels ago, he summoned this in attack mode, and he had Torrential Tribute set. That's kind of nasty, honestly. That's a good combo. Now, I do have Tornado Wall in our starting hand, so normally I would search for Pot of Green, but I think with this... I will search for a Legendary Ocean. Now, I haven't pulled Terraforming yet, and I'm pretty sure Terraforming is in this game. Um, so, yeah. Not gonna play Umi Ruka, because we want the combo. The c -c 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 combo. Although it is kind of risky playing a Legendary Ocean, because it will help out Mako's water monsters. Hmm. I didn't really think about that, but uh, let's see what he's got. Ah, uh, yeah, Legendary Fisherman, uh, Mama Grizzly, hmm. I didn't really think about that. Maybe I shouldn't play a Legendary Ocean or Umi Ruka. I, I don't know, I don't know. I kind of want to do the combo anyway, just to, just to say, hey guys, we did the combo. Plus with Tornado Wall, I won't take damage, so... Yeah, Legendary Fisherman, he will be able to summon it, but he won't get the boost because he's unaffected by all spells. Uh, I don't know, maybe I sh should play the combo. Oh, we got Swords too. Okay, in that case, I'll probably definitely play the combo. Alright, so my Sea Snake can defeat your Great White. Great White's a card I thought about putting in the deck, but it, it, its power level is just not high enough for me. Now, what card I do wonder if it's in this game that I haven't pulled yet uh, is Seven Colored Fish. That's a very good card. It's another water uh, vanilla with 1800 attack. Uh, yeah. Don't know what pack that's in. Uh, hey, common question for you guys. If you do know... Uh, which pack that is in, let me know in the comments, because I would really like to have that card. Ooh, he drew Torrential. Uh-oh. Watch out. He drew Torrential, guys. Good to know. Good to know. Thanks for using Respect Play, so I know to summon Jinzo next turn. Gats to be careful with that. Yeah, take your damage. Take your 500 damage from my giant germ. My capsule will shatter. And I just realized Tornado Ball actually won't work with Jinzo on the field. Hmm. Yeah. I just realized that. Well, I think I'm going to play Jinzo anyway. Maybe I should play Umi Ruka then. Maybe I should. Hmm. Well, I'll play it in main phase two either way, because no matter what, he's getting a water monster. And so if I play it now, it would actually reduce the damage he takes from Jinzo. Huh. All right, what are you gonna get? Oh, he actually, the AI wised up. He actually got another uh, Mama Grizzly this time. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure the last time, the AI wasn't smart, like, searched, uh, like, Fiend Kraken or something like that. Okay, okay. So he got Jellyfish. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I know he has Legendary Fisherman in hand. Hmm. Maybe I should play Swords here. Just in case. Swords of Revealing Light! Yeah. Now, uh, will that stop his attacks? Well, I guess we're about to find out. 
Oh no, he said it. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, guys. We're good. We're good, regardless. So now I think I will play Umi Ruka. Because no matter what you've got there, set, uh, Umi Ruka will lower its defense, because it's probably a water monster. Okay, we'll go with Satin again. Cool, get Shoals again. Cool. Alright. And now we'll attack with Sea Snake first. Ah, oh, it was a legendary fisherman. Yeah, so I don't know if he could have attacked while under swords or not. I don't know. Well, either way, it looks like we win, because we know that face down is torrential. And we're at about 20 and a half minutes. So that's perfect timing. Alright. Jinzo attack! Cyber Energy Shock! <laughs> oh man, I love seeing that with Jinzo. <laughs> so awesome. So. All right, only 74. Yeah, not too many points there. Ha ha ha! Though I lost, I fight with the honor my father instilled in me. I'll win next time, Flood. All right. Well, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.